Good morning, good morning. We're going to do a, a short devotional again this morning because it's gone from my nose and post nasal drip all into my. Uh, I couldn't sleep last night. So after Dr. Long's office opens at nine, I get to go schedule a COVID test, even though I'm pretty sure this is just what happens once or twice every year or two. But better to be safe than sorry. So. But I am going to have big copious amounts of tea and uh, probably nap some if I can. And okay, here's why I'm mad at COVID. This is going to be a cold. I take NyQuil. Except the thing is to make sure that I don't have COVID. I'm like, okay, no, I don't want to take anything that might mask a fever. So no acetaminophen, no ibuprofen. Oh, all right. That also meant no sleep for me. Actually, not no sleep. I got two chunks of around two hours. So, uh, page 295, and then we're going to look at uh, Matthew 25, 14 through 30. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Our psalmody for today is Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false, and does not swear deceitfully. He will receive blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, and seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So, excuse me one moment. My throat feels better. I probably don't sound better, but, but my throat feels a lot better, except for the postnatal drip and mucus everywhere. Yay. Thankfully, nothing can catch over Facebook. So, uh, New Testament reading. Matthew 25, verses 14 through 30. Jesus said, For it will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, <clears throat> to another one, each according to his own ability. Then he went away. He who had received... Sorry, dogs. He who had received five talents went at once and traded with them and made five talents more. So also he had, who had two talents made two talents more. But, when, but he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here, I have made five talents more. And his master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. <clears throat> and he who had the two talents came forward, saying, Master, you're, you delivered me two talents, and I here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also had received the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid. And I went and hid your talent in the ground. 
Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have scattered no seed? Then you ought to have invested my money at the bankers, and that my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give to the one who has ten talents. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> One of the things that we do in English is we often jump and talk about this parable in terms of our talents, our, our gifts that we have, what, what we have talents for, simply because that was the unit of measure given. But it, it's broader than just talent. <clears throat> just, oh, what's my special skill? It really is treasure, if you want to think about that way. And the question I have is, what is the chief treasure you've been given as a Christian? The chief treasure you've been given as a Christian is forgiveness, is the Word of God. And it's an interesting thing about the Word of God. Do you know what the Word of God does? Do you know what forgiveness does? It makes more Christian. It creates faith. It makes more people who will proclaim the Word of God. So really, this isn't a text about make sure you use your talents. It's a text about what we call today evangelism, about speaking the gospel. And what we have as Christians, the unique blessing that we have, we have the peace that the world cannot understand. We have the forgiveness of Christ Jesus. And we're able to speak that forgiveness to anyone. We're able to give that away. We are to be able to take it and make it grow. And so uh, my, my brief thoughts of encouragement today would be uh, be zealous and eager to speak the word of God. And not just the word of you need to stop doing this, but the gospel, the word of forgiveness. I forgive you in Jesus' name. It's a beautiful thing. So, um... Let's wrap on up. <clears throat> we will pray and then go about our way. I hope to be back to the normal schedule tomorrow, but yeah, I'm running a little slow at the moment. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings of body and soul that you've poured out upon us this day. And we ask that you'd fill us with your word and spirit, that we might be ready to share your treasures with those we come across. Be with all those who are going. Be with those who are sick or facing any illness. Restore them to health. We thank you for the healing that you've given to your servant, Harley, and we ask that you would continue to speed his recovery. Um, be with all those who are going about at their work today. Keep them safe in their comings and goings. All things, whatever else you know that we need, we lift up to you, trusting in your great love for us. This we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer of the day. <clears throat> Almighty and ever-living God, you have given exceedingly great and precious promises to those who trust in you. Dispel from us the works of darkness and grant us to live in the light of your Son, Jesus Christ, that our faith may never be found wanting through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Concluding prayers. Almighty and merciful Father, who created and completed all things on this day when the work of our calling begins anew. We implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, 
that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <clears throat> so I wake up at around, oh, one o'clock in the morning, post-nasal drift and all that type of stuff. I'm like, okay, I need to sit up for a bit. I will go find a cough drop and I'll suck on a cough drop and have a nice cup of tea. I can't find my cough drops. Now, granted, I'm not turning on the lights and looking all around. Um, so I open up another bag that we had in the back. Wake up this morning, and uh, I, I'm getting ready, and Celia yells out, Husband, how many cough drops had you had left in that bag that you left on the table? Like, I don't know. The dogs got into it and devoured it, so apparently the dogs really like honey cough drops. So, go figure. All right. <clears throat> Take care, everyone. Be well. And uh, again, yeah, it was yesterday where the throat, well, Sunday too, where the throat was scratchy. So this is all after effects of that. And so I'm probably fine, but let's go get tested and find out. So yay. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.